Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Chelsea and I make videos about Disney, veganism, travel, sustainability, and some vlogs as well. If you are interested in any of those things, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. So today's video is going to be my travel bucket list. And not all of it is like places I want to go, but like things I want to do linked to traveling, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Otherwise this is gonna be a very long video. Okay, so the first thing on the list is to learn Spanish. I'm actually learning Spanish at the moment. I'm quite a way into it. I'm currently level A2, so I'm like starting to learn about like the past tense and the future tense and stuff, which is exciting and I can't wait to be able to speak it fluently. But I want to learn Spanish for travel, so I mean for other reasons as well, like if I go and work back at Disneyland, then I can speak to the Spanish guests and just I love the culture and stuff in general, but I also really want to learn it for travel and potentially living in Spain or a Spanish speaking country for a little while. As well as that, I want to learn French as well, mostly because I want to go and work back in Disneyland Paris, but also it will help for traveling as well. Like there are still a lot of countries that speak French as well. So it will always come in handy to speak both French and Spanish. Um, I want to learn Italian as well, but that's not on the list. <laughs> okay, so the next one is a bit more interesting. I want to get a scuba diving qualification. So I would really love to do this in Honduras, uh, in Central America, just because I've researched it. And I think it was like the second largest barrier reef in the world, which is, crazy um, but it's also like the cheapest place that you can do it I think one of the cheapest places anyway and it just oh, I really want to go to Central America <laughs> I want to do it so badly but like I mean anywhere will do you know like I'll do it in the Philippines or anywhere I just want to get a scuba diving qualification and I'd like to get higher than just like a paddy like I'm not sure exact like levels and stuff but I know like you can get like your rescue diver and dive master um, which would be amazing to have but I don't even have like my paddy yet so let's not get ahead of ourselves just any old scuba diving qualification will do <laughs> number four is to go to every Disney park in the world including Al Alani and at least one cruise I want to learn to salsa dance I want to learn to surf Probably, I have been on a week's holiday sort of thing for surfing. I went away with the surf club, surf club, surf society at university. Uh, we went away to Morocco for a week and learned to surf and I had like the best time ever, but I wasn't very good. So I'd like to learn to surf properly. I mean, like I could stand up and like surf, but I didn't really go in like the really deep water, so I'd like to learn to do it properly. Number seven, I would like to try free diving. Number eight, I want to go and swim with plankton. So if you don't know, plankton at night sort of glow in the water, so where the water is moving and like crashing like um, on the beach or whatever, wherever the plankton are, like if they're in a lake or something, if the water is like moving around then it glows and it just looks incredible. Number nine, I would love to see a volcano erupting, but just a volcano that like erupts all the time like there's some in Guatemala and stuff just I'd love to see lava <laughs> it's just it's always been a goal of mine number 10 sounds a bit strange but I'd like to see a hurricane storms in England aren't that exciting I mean like obviously things get ruined and stuff which isn't good but I'm just intrigued as to like how it feels to be in a hurricane I don't know, sounds really weird. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me on that or if you will think I'm crazy that I want to see a hurricane, but yeah, I'd like to see a hurricane. I'd like to see a tornado as well, but they scare me a little bit more than hurricanes, so it's not on the bucket list. <laughs> Number 11, I would love to go skydiving. Number 12, I would love to go paragliding. Number 13, I would love to see a whale shark on a dive. I don't want to go on a dive that like guarantees you see whale sharks because they, I think they feed the whale sharks so like it kind of ruins their like natural migration patterns and like I just don't agree with it like they can hunt for themselves they don't need people to feed them so I'd like to go on a whale shark dive that doesn't guarantee them because then they're not interfering with the natural cycles of the whale shark. Number 14 I'd love to sleep in an underwater hotel I don't actually know if these things exist <laughs> I'm sure they do, and I'm sure they're very, very expensive. But yeah, that 
would be incredible. Number 15, I'd like to stay in an overwater bungalow. So like the ones in like Maldives or something like that. Oh, they just look incredible. Number 16 is to stay in an igloo or some sort of like ice accommodation that's made out of ice. It'll be cold, but looks incredible <laughs> and it'll be, it'll be an experience. Number 17, I would love to swim with sharks in the wild. Obviously when I say this, I'm not talking about like great white sharks and tiger sharks. I'm talking like nurse sharks and like lemon sharks, whale sharks. I mean, it would be cool to see a great white shark, but like from inside a cage, I'm not brave enough. I know that people do go swimming with great white sharks and they are absolutely crazy. I mean, sharks are mistaken creatures and I always want to fight for them because I love sharks. They don't mean to eat humans. They think they're eating a seal. Let's just leave it at that. I want to swim with sharks. Number 18, I want to swim with dolphins in the wild. Dolphins have also been one of my favorite animals ever since I was little and oh, they're just incredible. I swam with them in Discovery Cove in 2006 and I don't agree with that anymore. Obviously when I was nine or eight years old, I didn't really know it was bad for the dolphins and they were my favorite animal and it was like the best day of my life but I wouldn't go and do it now. I want to go and swim with them in the wild. And obviously by swim with them, I don't mean like get on their back and like, <laughs> no, I mean just like to see them in the wild and be in the water with them would be, oh my gosh, I would, oh, that would be a dream come true. Okay, number 19, I would love to go skiing. Believe it or not, I have never actually been skiing. Number 20, I would love to go zip lining. Number 21, I'd love to go in a hot air balloon. Number 22, I really want to go tubing. Number 23, go sand surfing. Number 24, I'd love to stand in both hemispheres at the same time. So in Ecuador, I know you can do this and they literally have like the line like painted on the floor and you can like stand with one foot in either hemisphere. It just looks really cool. Number 25, hike the Cotopaxi volcano, which is also in Ecuador. Number 26, swing at the end of the world in Banyas. Number 27, go to the Galapagos Islands. This has been a dream of mine ever since I found out about the Galapagos Islands and like Darwin created his theory like when I learned about that in biology it would honestly be a dream come true and see that like the Galapagos tortoises and oh, my heart I want to go okay number 28 hike to Machu Picchu in Peru number 29 hike on the rainbow mountain in Peru number 30 stay in the Amazon rainforest in a jungle lodge number 31 see the salt flats in Bolivia number 32 visit a coffee farm in Colombia Number 33, visit Tyrona National Park in Colombia. Number 34, visit the, okay, I don't know how to pronounce this. Visit the Pericutin volcano in Mexico. I should really know how to pronounce that if I wanna go there, but I don't, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> number 35 is to be in Mexico for Dia de los Muertos. Number 36 is to dive in the Great Blue Hole in Belize. I know that you need to be quite an advanced diver to be able to do that, but you know, some point in my life that would be absolutely incredible. Now we're moving into Africa. Okay, so number 37 is to visit Madagascar and see some lemurs. Number 38 is to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Number 39 is to do a safari in Kenya and stay at Giraffe Manor. I have done a safari in Africa, in South Africa, which was absolutely incredible. I mean, I imagine it would be pretty similar to the one in South Africa that I went to, but you know, I've not been to Kenya, so whole new experience. Okay, so number 40 is to see the pyramids in Giza. Number 41 is to go on a tour of the Sahara. Number 42 is to see Victoria Falls. Number 43 is to see the seven colored earths in Mauritius. Number 44 is to visit Uluru. I've tried going now like twice. Both times I went to Australia, I had hoped to go and visit Uluru, but it's just so hard to get to and it costs so much money and I didn't have a lot of money to go and visit it. So I still haven't managed to go but I'd love to do that. Number 45 is to dive or snorkel on the Great Barrier Reef. I was so close to getting to do that in 2020. When I went to Australia, I had even booked my accommodation and my flight over to Cairns from Sydney. And then coronavirus happened. So I had to go home. And I was literally two days away from leaving for Cairns. 
just as well I hadn't booked my tour, but I was so gutted. So gutted, so close to go. And at the time, I'll get there. Number 46 is to see the Daintree Rainforest. So that's the same issue as Great Barrier Reef. I was supposed to do that last year, but Corona. Number 47 is to see the Pink Lakes in Western Australia. Number 48 is to visit Rottnest Island and see the quokkas. I absolutely love quokkas. I don't know what else to say if you don't know what a quokka is. I'll put a picture here. They are adorable. In fact, I have a quokka as my iPad background. <laughs> I honestly, I love them so much. And this, this specific quokka is like my absolute favorite. He's just so freaking cute. Okay, number 49 is to visit the Glowworm Cave in New Zealand. Number 50 is to see a puffin in Iceland. Number 51 is to see St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow. Number 52 is to see all the history in Athens. Number 53 to see the Colosseum and other historical places in Rome. I just apparently couldn't be bothered to write them all out. Number 54 is to make a wish in the Trevi Fountain. Number 55 is to ride in a gondola in Venice. Number 56 is to see the Northern Lights. I don't care where I see them, I just want to see them. And the Southern Lights would be cool. They're less spoken about as well. You know what the, the Northern Lights are? So I watch a program about the universe with my dad. It's called, um, it's called How the Universe Works. If you're interested, it's very good. I highly recommend it. The Northern Lights are our Earth's magnetic field protecting us from solar wind from the sun. Like if there's like a solar wind coming over, that's when you see the northern lights because it's the solar wind hitting our magnetic field and like bouncing off it. How cool is that? There you go, now you know what the northern lights are. Number 57 is to take a boat trip on a fjord in Norway. This list is just making me want to cry about the fact that I can't travel right now. Number 58, I am really, really hoping to be able to do this year if not then next year, but to go to Santa's village in Rovaniemi in Lapland in Finland. Santa's home. Okay, so number 59 is to swim down the Mid-Atlantic Ridge in Iceland. I have actually seen this when I last went to Iceland, but I didn't swim in it or anything. Number 60 is to go to the Christmas markets in Germany. Number 61 is to go to the baths in, sorry for my mispronunciation here, Pamukkale? In Turkey? Pamukkale? However you pronounce that, I'm sorry. Number 62 is to visit the Grand Palace in Bangkok. Number 63 is to visit the Summer Palace in China. Number 64 is to walk on the Great Wall of China. Number 65 is to see the Forbidden City in Beijing. Number 66 is to see the Taj Mahal. Number 67 is to be in India for Holly. Number 68 is to see the Golden Temple. Number 69 to see Mount Everest. Number 70 to climb Mount Fuji in Japan. Number 71 is to go in a Japanese onsen and have a traditional Japanese experience. Number 72 is to, again, I've got to work on my pronunciation of these places, is to visit the Sensuji Temple in, J in Tokyo. Number 73 is to go to Tokyo during the cherry blossom season. Number 74 is to see the Royal Palace in Lang Prabang. Number 75 is to see the Sky Lantern Festival in Thailand. This is actually, I think, what inspired Tangled to have all the lanterns and oh my goodness, it would be so incredible. It would literally be like I've stepped into the movie set of Tangled. Oh my goodness, I couldn't think of a better way to feel more like Rapunzel. <laughs> Honestly, it looks incredible. Number 76 is to visit some rice fields in Vietnam. Number 77 is to take a boat trip through the Halong Bay in Vietnam. Number 78 is to see the blue flames and the blue lake at Lien Volcano in Indonesia. I'm not sure if you pronounce that J like the Gen Volcano. Number 79 is to visit Nusa Penida in Indonesia. Number 80 is to go and see the Batu Cave. Number 81 is to see an orangutan in Borneo. I absolutely love orangutans so much. I've actually adopted one for Christmas for the past two years. To go and see the ones in Borneo, which is where the ones are that I have sent money for to adopt them, would be absolutely incredible. So number 82 is to visit the Perentian Islands in Malaysia. Number 83 is to go to Dubai. Number 84 is to see the J Jetta Grotto in Lebanon. Number 85 is to float in the Dead Sea. 
now. Number 86 is to see the Grand Canyon. Number 87 is to see the Antelope Canyon, which is also in Arizona. This one looks absolutely incredible. Like, I don't know why it's not spoken about more. It looks like unbelievable. So pretty. Number 88 is to visit Yellowstone National Park. Again, ever since I learned about this in geography, I've been obsessed with the idea of going to see Yellowstone. Number 89 is to walk on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and see the Hollywood sign. Number 90 is to go to the Warner Brothers studio tour in LA. I actually didn't know about this until the last time that I went to the Harry Potter studio tour and I saw it like advertised. And they have like a little bit of Harry Potter, but they've also got like loads of other things. Like I think they've got friends there and Pretty Little Liars. Number 91 is to go to New Orleans and be there for Mardi Gras. Number 92 is to listen to country music in Nashville. And by that, I don't just mean like listen to it on my phone. I mean like actually go and watch live music in Nashville. I'd love to go to some sort of country festival in Nashville. I absolutely love country music. Number 93 is to see a Broadway show in New York. I really wanted to go last time I was there, but I had about $200, so yeah, I wasn't gonna go and see a Broadway show. <laughs> uh, nine, number 94 is to drive on Route 66, and I don't wanna just drive on a little bit, I wanna drive the whole Route 66. Number 95 is to visit all US states. Number 96 is to go on an Alaskan cruise. Number 97, go to Niagara Falls. Number 98, go to the Winterlude Winter Festival in Ottawa in Canada. So they have like loads of really cool things at this festival if you don't already know. And um, so you could do like ice carving and you can also see lots of like ice carving sculptures that like professionals have done. You can go snow tubing, canoeing on the frozen river, zip lining, there's an ice bar and you can also go skating on the canal. Just looks absolutely incredible. Number 99, I want to visit Lake Louise and go ice skating on it, but then I also want to visit Lake Louise in the summer as well, so I've got to go twice. <laughs> and number 100 is to visit Antarctica. This has been an absolute dream of mine for so long. This whole bucket list is like a dream of mine, but like to visit Antarctica is like the absolute top of the bucket list. Like, can you imagine how incredible it would be to go to Antarctica? I've watched videos on YouTube of like people going to visit it and like while the Drake Passage crossing sounds absolutely terrifying, I 100% think it is worth it because Antarctica, like it doesn't get better than that. Oh my goodness, can you imagine seeing a penguin in Antarctica? and a seal, and like, elephant seals. <laughs> My goodness. It would literally be like I'm living in David Attenborough's documentary, and Frozen Planet is my favorite of his series. I absolutely love it. Like, learning about the Arctic as well, but just Antarctica, there's just something about it. I think that, like, no humans live there, well, other than, like, science stuff, but, like, no one, like, permanently lives in Antarctica, and, Oh, there's just something about it. It's just absolutely incredible. So that is it for this bucket list video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Let me know what the top things are from your travel bucket list in the comments below. I would love to know. And let me know if there's anything on my bucket list that is also on yours as well. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Number 19 is, uh, number 19? 59? What is wrong with my brain today? Actually, it's not even just today, just my brain over the last. <laughs> Anthony was just stood at the door and scared the absolute living daylights out of me.